Hi. So, like, a ridiculous amount of you talked about my glasses in messages and co in, in, in comments. And first, I think it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't like my glasses uh, at all. <laughs> um, it's something you have to wear to be able to see. I, I don't know. Yeah, I wear contacts a lot more than my glasses. The only kind of glasses, even then, I don't like to wear 3D glasses. A pair accidentally forgot to return to the theater. But I would wear these before I would wear my other glasses. Um, but since you guys seemed interested in glasses, I figured I'd tell you a little bit about the history of glasses. So, first, glasses used to actually used to have, you know, the lenses be like this. They usually had, I think of Merlin on my Merlin watchers. Like, you know how Gaius has that little thing, kind of like a magnifying glass, and you put it on? to the paper, you put it, like, usually it was just kind of like magnifying glass. You would put this co the concave lens or, like, water or something, because if you use, like, a water bottle, national, if you ever see National Treasure, he uses a water bottle to zoom in on that dollar bill, the hundred dollar bill. It's kind of like that. You'd put water on top of that thing, and it would, like, magnify. So, it's kind of cool like that. Um, and I think they said that the Egyptians were known to do this. Um, and, oh wow, this talks about sunglasses and polarizing sunglasses and crap, too. Let's just go to Wikipedia. So much easier. Um, uh, oh yes, the, a quote is, Letters, however small and indistinct, are seen enlarged and more clearly through a globe of glass filled with water. See? Doing this all by memory so far, but now I've got the research in front of me. Um, so Italy is thought to be the first person, first country that had eyeglasses. Um, it's in 1286, so it was long ago. Like, I feel that bad for all the people that couldn't have glasses before that. Because, I guess, I guess with cavemen or something, they'd get killed a lot easier because they couldn't see. But there's some of the killer headaches they would have, too. It's not awesome. Um, yeah, I, I just... Because when you guys ask me what my what my prescription is, I, uh, or if I'm nearsighted or foresighted, I really... If I was in fifth grade, I could probably tell you. Um, I I knew that. I'm pretty sure, I don't know what I am. I'd have to think really hard about... Because far side is when you can see things far, far away and you can't see them close. Near side is when you can see things close but not far away. So I think the same near side is... I think that's... But then there's a... If then you can go into astigmatisms, like how the kind of like the eye is shaped differently and stuff. And way too complicated crap. Um, I just say I have glasses. And uh, it's bad. I... If you... Like to be able to read something, it's got to be like here. Like, right, like, close. But, I, I don't know, I don't find that interesting. I find the history around it much more interesting, and I'm rambling. Yeah? Um, then we talk about with 1313. It said, uh, eyeglasses having first been made by someone else who was unwilling to share them. So, 1301, they started regulations on eyeglasses. Um... Then Ben Franklin, who suffered from myopia and presbobia, I have no idea what that is, invented bifocals. I think we all knew that Ben Franklin did bifocals. Or maybe, I actually have a lot of the UK and other people that aren't in the US that watch this. So I don't know. If, you guys probably do. But you know, Ben Franklin's one of the US's like founding fathers. And so and he invented a whole bunch of crap. And like, he was the idiot who stood out in the lightning storm with a key and a kite kind of thing. Though if you ever watch like the history or something, uh, it's in my likes, um, history by like drunken professors. They talk about one of them says that they think that uh, his he probably put his son out there to do it so he wouldn't get hurt, like bend himself and get hurt. Um, the first lenses for correcting astigmatisms were constructed by the British astronomer George Airy in 1825. Hmm, interesting. Corrective because before you know it was the magnifying, now there's the corrective glasses and pinhole glasses. There are a type of corrective glasses that do not use a lens and are claimed to help correct the eye's refractive error without... See, this is why I don't know why... Oh, that's kind of cool. Go to Wikipedia, where history of glasses, and they've got, like, pictures of, like, looking through glass lenses. Like, I should do that. i got a camera. I mean, I may try that. That sounds cool. Sunglasses, 3D glasses, bifocals, trifocals. Trifocals, I think, would just be annoying. And actually, like, in choir, I am choir. With a lot of older people. Uh, I don't want to be mean and say they're old, but they're older. Um, you can tell they can't often, a lot of them can't share music because of the way their bifocals are. Like, 
they have to adjust their music, and if someone's trying to adjust it, it kind of like switches what lens they're looking through or something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, so glasses. Yeah. I didn't like them. I got rid of them pretty quickly. They used to give me sores. Like, you see these 3D glasses, they don't have like the little thingers on them. Like, those always hurt my face. So I don't like them. And, yeah. That's, that's what I got about glasses. Um, but otherwise, on to cute stuff. Um, congratulations to, I, I was gonna make a video right after, uh, Colin, uh, won last week the, uh, uh National Television Awards. Um, that made me super happy. Um, and I just, hmm, I haven't heard this song. I really love the bromance between Colin and Bradley. <sighs> I, I think it's adorable. And so, they made me happy the other day. And I, having to share seats, Tumblr freaking exploded. You know, I really want to be able to see Colin Morgan's stuff that he was on the stage with. That'd be really, like, fascinating. Because that's the one crap thing about theater over in England, is they don't tape it. And I can't see it. Um, I, can't, I can't afford to go back over to England all the time. Um, so, another thing of me rambling... I had a snow day today. I should have done more than this video where I'm... Why do people watch me, Krista? I don't understand. I don't say anything. So... Yeah! Go back to drinking my tea? And listen to my classical music here? I guess... Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to finish this up. Uh, and I don't have any pictures to show you, Krista, because I haven't really taken any. Um, maybe I'll take that glasses thing that we just talked about. Oh, also things with 3D glasses. With the technology of 3D, watch one of the Hobbit production extras, um, where they talk about the technology of it. Because, you know, for 3D, you have to have two images, because your eye takes two pictures of the things, and then, you know, they scramble it up in the brain and blah. Um, like, you know, rotate and flip. So whatever my right eye sees, my left brain processes and then flips it and, you know, all that crap. So with 3D, you have to have two cameras, so there are two eyes. And it like zooms in, and then because when you go like here and you go like that, it's like the same picture but a little bit different. So that's what the cameras are supposed to be like. And it's posted the way that the film processes it's kind of like you're just seeing your eyes, and that's why it pops out at you. So when you went to uh, the Russell house with me the other day, and I showed you through the stereoscope, that's what it was like doing. Because remember, there's two pictures right there, and now we have the lens that does that instead of having to have the two pictures. Because when you go to the movie theaters, they actually have the special projectors where they are shooting two things, and that's why it comes out, and it's really cool. That's more information. Yeah. I think I'm done now, because I really don't want to talk about. Um, I'll come up with something cool to talk about later. Probably, hopefully, Merlin related. Possibly. Because I'm having withdrawals. Okay. I'm done. I love you. Bye.